Hello, my name is Arson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com. In this video, I'll be covering, I'll be talking about uh, containers, what, what they are and how to best use them. So I have chosen this uh, test site that I have because it has uh, a skin installed on it that has many different containers already. So um, first thing that I have to do is we have to log into the website and start let, let's play around with containers so let's log into the website first of all so you can log in as either host or admin i'm gonna log in as host so we're logging as host this particular page that i have chosen uh doesn't have any modules on it yet well actually it does have one at the top but i'm gonna place uh, a text html module here in the middle area in the main area so I'm going to select HTML in the content pane and I'm going to call this uh, module one and I'm going to click add module page. Okay, so the module was added to the page and you can see that uh, it's uh, it has already some, some uh, basic content here. And then what I can do is I, I'm just going to add some content to it, just some simple content. Okay, I'm going to just click save. And I have also opened uh, Internet Explorer so I can keep refreshing and showing you how, how the pages look like without being logged into the website. It's always good to be able to be logged in as I'm I'm here in, in Firefox and have one view in another browser so you can see how the end user would be seeing this page. So first of all, what is a container? Basically a container is, I, I define a container as a wrapper around a module that you add to a page. So in this case we have added to the page the HTML module. This is the HTML module, and this area around the HTML module uh, and that, that brings formatting to the HTML module, this is the, the container itself. So if you have a look here, how the end user would see this page, here it is, title at the top, and then the content in the middle. Now, because uh, I have selected uh, a test site that has a lot of uh, different containers what I can do is I can change the way this area look like just by selecting a different container so let's go back here as as, as host or admin let's go to the action menu and let's uh, go to settings then under settings we'll be able to select a different container for that area so let's uh, scroll down go to page settings and then scroll down again under module container, in my case here, I have many, many, many different containers to choose from because this particular skin that I have purchased, it has many options. And one thing that I that I want to mention is that you can purchase uh, skins from Snow Covered. So if you go to snowcovered.com, you can see a session at the top, a section that says skins, and then you have many, many, many. You have uh, thousands of different skins here to choose from and each one of those skins they will mention how many skin variations they have and they will also mention uh, containers as well let's just have a quick peek here just a quick look so I have just randomly selected uh, a skin option and if I scroll down I'm pretty sure that they will talk about containers here you see they mentioned here different containers style as you can see if you use if you buy the skin and you can apply this style to a module or this style or no title, contain, con container with a green top. So, but I like that you can purchase skins that comes together with containers here in Snow Covered. So let's get, go back to our site. So in my site here, I can select another container. Let's, let's uh, just select another one here. Let's say uh, line gray. So if I click, I have selected the container. I click update and this new container will be applied to that module. So let's see how it looks like. So best way to see it is this is how it was before and when I change the container 
I will refresh the page and this is how it's looking now. You see, the style has changed. Now the, the font of the title is a little bit different. There's a line at the bottom of the title. If I go back there, I can select another one. Let's try something uh, a little bit different. Okay, if I, if I scroll down again, go to page settings and I can select something else here. Let's try something a little bit different. Let's try uh, 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 title dark. And okay, let's click update. Let's see how it looks like now. Let's go back to our Internet Explorer page. You see, the title now is a kind of a dark uh, red. So again, this style has changed again. Let's let me try another one. Okay, I've tried another one. If I go back to the store, click refresh. So you can see now that there's a border around my content. Uh, the title now has a, a reddish background and again, border around it. I have changed it once again. If I click refresh, now again, just showing a, a, a border around it. Um, very easily you can change this module one by something else. You can just come to uh, action menu and go to settings. Same uh, settings page that you can change the, the container, you can also change the title. This is the title. Click update. And if I go back here to my module, I can refresh. The new title will be in place. If I go back there, I can even select one of the default uh, .dot .nook containers. Let's give it a try on that one. So settings, and then in the drop down. If you scroll down, you'll see minimal exropy, which is the default uh, skin pack package that comes with DNN. So if I click on title blue, if I click update, I will be able to see a, a very simplistic container that comes with .NET Nook, uh, .NET Nook Community Edition. See, there is a here's the title. Title is blue. There's no borders. If I refresh here, you will not see borders anymore. You will just see the title at the top. So. This is basically it. Uh, the uh, container is the wrapper around the module. It will help to 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 apply a style to the content of that of that uh, module. It might be HTML text module. It might be any one of the different modules that uh, are available in your .NET Nook website. It will apply a style to that particular module that you have placed in the page and each module that you place in a page and I let me show you that I can add another HTML module to, to the same content page and this is the second title what will happen is that I will add another module uh, below the first one that I have added here see it's coming with the default container and I can easily go to the settings and select another container from the skin that I have, or even from the default um, uh, .NET Nook containers. Uh, let me let me try one of the many that I have here available. Click update, and I can go back to my page there. If I click, if I refresh this page, let me try. Okay, I know I have to add some content, otherwise it will not show. Let's go and add some more. Stuff. Just added some simple content here again. Save. And if I go back to my page, if I click refresh, so you see, we have the first module at the top with a different container as, a, as, a, as opposed to the second one that I have added with in yet another style for this container. Okay, so this is the basics about container. And, and in, a, in a second video, most likely I'll be covering more, more advanced options in regards to containers. Thank you very much. Bye.